Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Pink and YouTube channel. My name is Connor Southall. I, I come to you in the aftermath of Norwich City's 2 0 win in Germany against Dynamo Dresden. Now, of course, as you might be able to see, uh, I'm not in Germany. I am uh, still in Norwich. Paddy was at the game for us and all of his analysis and reaction at, at pinken.com. But of course, there was a stream of the game and I watched that. So I thought I'd just drop in and, and give you essentially five minutes worth of my thoughts. So not too long. Um, on the friendly and uh, I'm, I'm just off to play football actually um, in, in this glorious weather so that, that's that's going to be uh, that's going to be good fun but onto the game itself first and foremost we've got to talk about the pitch haven't we because it was um, it was pretty bad I mean it was essentially a, a two goal posts four corner flags and some lines in a field wasn't it that that was the surface it wasn't great Norwich City played there a couple of years ago and Daniel Farker commented and was angry at the nature of, of the surface and, and that was certainly replicated today. I mean, there was a, certainly a few images in our system taken by our photographer Paul, Ch uh, Paul Chesterton of um, the players reacting to the surfaces and some of the, uh, the some of the facial expressions were priceless. So it was, it was a very difficult surface to play on, which is a good test in many regards because it, it allows Norwich to prepare aptly for um, perhaps some of what they're going to encounter, particularly given the fact that I think pitches probably haven't been able to be worked on particularly um, over this summer. It's been a very short break. So I think come April, March, April time, I think you could begin to see a lot of wear and tear on pitches. And if Norwich City are trying to play a possession-based style, then it's going to be important that they have some prior experience of that. So that it was useful in that regard, but what it did do was prevent the game from really getting going. And Dynamo Dresden, I, I felt off the Norwich City a fairly good test. I thought, particularly towards the end of the first half, they um, really sort of showed themselves and, and put their front foot forward in many regards. And Norwich had to deal with that, and they did. Um, they were in control of the game, I think, throughout. And, and it was a game of very few chances. It was good to see Timu Puki score, which I'll come on to. But in terms of the overall game itself, it was very much a, a, a fitness sort of regime. I think the first half, Norwich were were uh, particularly in the early phase the better side like I say Dresden creeped into it towards the end of the first half and then the second half was was probably a bit of a holding pattern in many regards but let's talk about Timu Puki he scored his first goal since February for the club and admittedly it isn't a pre-season friendly and um, it, it probably doesn't mean too much in the grand scheme of things but it's always good to see him get back on the score sheet and it was actually probably the best I've seen him play for a long time for Norwich City he, not just the nature of his finish, which was so confidently taken and um, shades of the team of Puki of old and the team of Puki that we all know and love. It was his movement off the ball. It was his pressing. It was his work rate. There was a moment after his goal where he nicked possession and then um, with the outside of his foot played a ball into Marco Steepman that, that sort of split open the, the Dresden midfield and allowed Norwich to get forward. And that was really nice. So some really nice elements from team Puki. I'll admit, hearing and, and reading what I've... Um, what I've heard and what I've read from from FC from SC Vell on, on on Monday, I was a little bit concerned about Timu Puki, um, and and perhaps the nature of his performances in an Norwich City shirt. But this performance today, and and the fact I think it was documented to all Norwich City fans, was was good to see him back to his old self. And I just hope that that's something he can now extract. A goal does a strike of the world of good, regardless of whether it's in a pre-season friendly or in a league fixture. And hopefully, he can take that forward into the league and and into the coming days and weeks ahead um, as, as Norwich City continue their preparations for the championship. Likewise, Jordan Hugill, his first Norwich City, well, he came on as a, a second half substitute, didn't he, for the, for the second half 11, but took his goal so confidently, I thought, the way he uh, he latched onto a very, very good Dan Elsinani pass outside of his boot, which um, put Hugill through on goal and confidently dispatched it into, into the top corner. There was a, a moment where he elbowed a defender in the face and Again, maybe he will provide that nasty streak that some Norwich City supporters want to see from their side and, and that streetwise element that perhaps Norwich City have lacked. But he, he was certainly a physical presence, certainly someone who looks like he can hold the ball up um, and certainly someone who was clinical in front of goal. And if Norwich City can extract that, again, it kind of helps Timu Puki because if Norwich City can get another striker who scores 10 to 15 goals, then that takes the emphasis off Timu Puki. He doesn't need then to score 29 goals in the Championship. Great if he does, but no massive expectation. He just needs to score enough. Um, and, and I think that Jordan Hugill looks like a, a competent alternative and their variation that Norwich City were lacking last season. Um, an honourable mention for Oliver Skip, who I thought was very, very good in the first half. Added some tenacity, some bite to Norwich City's midfield. Probably um, was on the borderline in, in terms of between a yellow card and the red card got booked, which is very rare in a friendly, but it was a yellow card. But 
was just um, was just tenacious in his play. Like I say, added a bit of bite, shielded the back four very well, and also was very effective in his passing as well. He, he broke the press a few times and played through the midfield, linked up the defensive midfield with the attacking midfield, which you didn't see too much of last season. Um, and was fairly progressive in his passing as well. So that was nice to see. And there were lots of nice cameos um, throughout the team. I thought uh, Daniel Sonani as well had some nice touches. You can still see the rawness within him, though, positionally and, and tactically a little bit. But certainly when he's on the ball, technically looks a, a very, well, looks a very astute deal. But of course, you have to caveat everything that I'm saying with the fact that this is pre-season and uh, it's, it's a horrendous time to judge anything. But ultimately, Norwich City recorded a win and that is always good for confidence and always good for them as they look to go into the championship season particularly after the back of a very gruelling Premier League campaign that is just about it I think I just wanted to do a very quick sort of roundup of my thoughts on on this afternoon's friendly Norwich City of course won 2-0 um, Dynamo Dresden in the third tier of Germany they recently got relegated from Bundesliga 2 um, I'm off to play some some seven aside football. So um, pinkham.com is is the place to go for all your analysis, reaction. Uh, Pad's got some Daniel Falker quotes as well up there, and also six things, the match report, everything you need to know about today's friendly is on the website. If you like this video, leave it a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. I think the majority of you watching aren't subscribed, so um, it would be good to get you all on board ahead of the new season. Plenty more content coming your way on this platform and um, yeah we look forward to seeing you very very soon stay safe and we'll see you soon